I want us to have our seats. We have already prayed that the Lord should speak to us. But I just want our open mind. That's what is needed. The topic we are treating this evening is a burden to me. And you will see it in my teaching. It's a burden. And it's not, it's not now. It has been a burden to me. How, how many years now? It has been a burden to me, let's say, 10 years now. And it's still a burden up to today. And until it becomes a burden to you, you will never live up to the expectation of the topic. Someone asked me some years ago, he said, what do you fear most? And the person was shocked with the kind of answer I gave him. You know, he, 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 he thought I would fear failure. He thought I would fear death. He thought I would fear the devil. You know, he thought many options. But when I gave him the answer, he was shocked and he was asking me why. He said, that's the essence why I'm here. So I need to fear it most than any other thing. And you know that very thing. If I did not do what God want me to do on earth, it's a fear to me. Can I live up to that expectation? Will I be able to achieve it? Because that's the purpose why I'm here. I'm not here just to enjoy life. That is certain. So I don't need to fear that anymore. Failure is part of life. I don't need to fear it. The devil is my enemy. I already know that. I don't need to fear him. But these are the things that many of us fear. Some, ah, they, they, they cannot even hear the witch. They, they are already running from one end to the other. Some, they fear death. They don't want to even get to them. Some, failure. Ah, I must not fear. I must not fear. But ask anyone out there if he has not failed. Maybe once or twice. It's only Jesus that did not fail. And because he's, he, he, he's both man and God, and his, his accuracy about things of God was 100%. So tell me of any man outside Jesus that never failed. So why are you afraid of failure? Man? But the only thing, like I said, that I'm afraid most is not doing what God has created me to do. And why? Because at the end of my staying in this world, that is the question that he will ask me. What have you done with what I've given you? What have you achieved according to what I've told you? Praise God. Because that is what will give me the reward I am hoping for and why I'm suffering here on earth. I'm not suffering here, here on earth just to make it to heaven. Making it to heaven is good, but also receiving crowns is better. Praise God. Paul made us to know that some people they will be saved just by a lot of mercy because the works of their hands will be burnt. And what? It is only them that will be saved. Those persons. It's just that at that minute, that's when their life realized that they need to give their life to Christ. They never live up to the expectation of them. And that is the, the, the uh, call that God called us to. To be a what? You know more than Abraham was called not to be a man that is successful. He was called to build a pattern for God. And that's why he said that through you, all the earth shall be what? Shall be blessed. Today, all of us, we are clamoring for faith. But there was a man that had to sacrifice his whole life to ensure that the faith is what? Is a model. And which we now love today. Abraham, blessings are mine. Abraham, blessings are mine. Do you know how he got the blessing? He laid a, a pattern for us. We talk of David today. Ah, we talk of Solomon. These people, they are to find an expression of bringing out the model. If not 100%, but at least they were able to put some signs on the sound of time. And that's why it is written in in the Bible we are holding, so that we can also pick some roles in which they were able to model, that we too can also live above. Hallelujah. Praise God. Becoming a role model is, is, is my most feared part of 
life. Because as the way God designed this world, my life is a blessing to people that will also be a blessing to others. So if I did not get it right, there is some probability that some people will not get it right. If you don't get it right in your family, it is so prob probably that some people will not be able to get it right in your family, except God has to create another substitute of you. But today, we don't care about this. We don't care about it. We just, we just live our life. Ah, let me live my life. My, my life does not consign anyone. No, your life is more important to you, to God, and to others. Not only you, you are not living for yourself. That's not the reason why you are created. You are created for God and to mankind. Who is a role model? We need to ask ourselves, who is a role model? The first point, a person who serves as an example of value, values, attitude, and behavior associated with a what? If I ask you, are you playing a role as you are now? You are playing a role associated to a role. For example, a father is a role model for his what? His sons. Two, a role model can also be a person who distinguishes themselves in such a way that others admire and want to emulate them. For example, a woman who becomes a successful brain surgeon or hairline pilot can be described as a role model for other women. You know, I, I, I was telling us before this slide that we are occupying a role or we are, we are carrying out a role. If you know that, then you know that you are a role model because what you are doing now is building some pattern that someone else will be is seeing rather. Someone else is seeing now and will still see. Praise God. Everybody is somebody's role model. Hold on to that. In your family, somebody is looking at you. Some young child or children rather and uh, siblings are looking at you. As you are doing your thing, they are observing. Today we are all appreciating what technology has done. But technology has made us to, to know that even our younger ones are learning fast. How do you think they are learning fast? It's because they are, now, before you know it now, Inbim will, will start operating phones. But do you think he just developed that uh, use of phone by just stomping at it? No. As maybe our dad or our mom is pressing the phone, our brain is capturing that moment. It's cap and that's why you see that two years old girl now, they are playing games on the phone. This scientist has proven that even the actions that a woman is doing while in pregnancy, it also affects the child. So if you are, make, you, are, you are so used to the phone while you are in pregnancy, your child is, is very sure to what? To be acquainted to gadgets. Because that, their brain are developing in your womb and they, they are sharing the same pattern with your brain. And that's why it is easier for the, 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 the children we are having today. Why is it that in your own time you are not able to use phone because there was no phone? But because today now the phone is very viral. The only thing that we saw in our own time is come and ten ten. And that's why that is what we know at the age of two. Because that is what we see. See, but in their own time, those things have faded away. What is trending now is use of phone. You know, research has made us to know that virtually everyone uses their phone more than 10 hours in a day. The research and they made us know that everyone uses their phone more than 10 hours a day. So when you see the new generation and you see how they are using gadgets, don't be surprised. It's because of what they have seen and what they are seeing. It is what is trending that will become the, 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 the move of the moment. So everyone is a what? Is a role model. Because somebody is what? Is watching you. What you are doing. What I'm doing. And that's why I said that I, I, I have fear for it. Because many people are looking at me as I am doing some things. And if they, if they see anything bad about me, or I, I mistakenly give them a bad role in my own lifetime, there's a problem. And that's why I'm a bit careful how I portray myself. The second point, each day, 
don't forget to each day, as I said, each day, everyone has someone who looks at your watch, who looks at your every day. Don't be, don't don't get it twisted. Some people are they are even monitoring you online. What you post is what they believe in. What you post on daily basis be their thought pattern. Hey, each day, someone looks at your life and evaluate the decisions and judgment you make, the types of decisions you make, and how you choose to live your what? Your life will determine if you are a positive or negative what? Role model. We have, we've, we've all agreed that we are all role model. But what will not determine which one you will become is whether you are positive or negative. Then the last point is that following a few simple rules will ensure you impart those who look to you in a what? In a positive way. Following some simple rules. Because God has given us a simple rule to ensure that we lay a good example for others. We are an example that other people can emulate. And that is why my burden is so much for this, our generation. We sing this song. We are the chosen generation. Call for to show his excellence. How do you show that excellence? All I require for life, God has given me. What God has given you? You are claiming, you are singing that song. You know, we sing that song with joy. And many times when we sing that song, I, I, I feel grief in my heart. Sir. These people that are singing this song, are, are they even going through the lyrics? You are, you are saying that God has called you to show forth His excellence. He has given you everything. You are not saying that you know who you are. Then if you know who you are, why are you not demonstrating who you are? Why is not excellent in, in, your, in your deeds, in your words, in your action? You see that there is a problem. And that's why the, the word that uh, Paul wrote to Timothy in that 2 Timothy 3, that they will be what? They will, they, they, they will, they will embrace God and the word, the word of God, but they will deny his power. That's what he said. So we see many people, you know, when I was preaching in this morning, I said, divine comfort is for bona fide Christians. Let me just put it that way. 